what's up everybody this is your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions so today I'm going to do a comparison video between the Moto Z3 Play and the Moto G6 now both of these devices is unique in its own way right but both of them have a huge price difference the Moto Z3 Play come in at a whopping $499 and the Moto G6 is $199 it's Amazon best-selling device so what is the difference between both of these devices now on this YouTube channel I've already made a camera comparison between both of these devices so I'm not going to talk about cameras but I am going to talk about three key elements between both of these devices right so sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey Woo! let's have some fun let's go Motorola camp it's supposed to be a difference between the Z Play lineup and the G lineup, right? In 2018, we start to see the gap closing between both of these devices. Yes, the Z lineup has some unique features such as the Moto Mives, and the G lineup doesn't. So when it comes down to functionality and features, the Z Play lineup along with the Z lineup has unique features that kind of warrant the price a little bit if you are into the Moto Mives. But that's why I'm gonna talk about some key factors between both of these devices. Let's talk about the specs on both of these devices. Believe it or not, they're almost similar. The Moto G6 has a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display, right? We got the Snapdragon 450 processor with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, SD card support, right? Uh, we got all the bells and whistles here. Of course, you don't get no wireless charging and stuff like that, right? We got a 3000 milliamp battery in here. We also run an Android 8.0 on this device, right? The Moto Z3 Play has a six inch AMOLED display, right? We got the Snapdragon 636 processor, four gigs of RAM. We got 64 gigs of internal storage, complemented by SD card support. We also have a 3000 milliamp battery on here, right? And we have Android 8.1 on the Moto Z3 Play. Before we talk about performance with both of these devices, let's talk about the design on both of these phones. The G6 with its all glass design is beautiful. I mean beautiful. With its 5.7 inch IPS LCD display, right? It is a gorgeous phone. We got the fingerprint scan at the bottom. I mean, the phone is very classy. We got dual camera setup on the back. And I'm, I can tell you that Motorola have definitely stepped up to the plate and made sure that the G lineup looks good. Good. So shouts out to Motorola that's taking the G lineup and bringing it to the next level. Let's talk about the Z lineup, right? The Z Play. This device is also gorgeous with this huge six inch AMOLED display, right? And I can tell you, looking at this phone, it is a gorgeous device. Now the pogo pins in the back may distract some people, but it serves a good purpose because of the Moto mods. Also, Motorola have did some stuff differently with the Z lineup. They put the fingerprint scanner on the side of the device, which a lot of people may like or hate. But I think Motorola, again, paid a lot of attention to detail when it came down to both of these devices. So you be the judge for yourself when it come down to the design. I can tell you that for $199, the Moto G6 is a very classy device. And I can tell you, shouts out to Motorola. The Moto G6 is a gorgeous, classy looking phone. But hey, listen, can't take nothing from the Z lineup because it's also gorgeous. So this is kind of a toss up, but this is a key factor because we're talking about 199 and 499. So when it comes down to the design, you be the judge for yourself in that aspect. So let's talk about the screen technology in both of these devices. The Moto Z3 Play has an AMOLED display, right? And it's gorgeous. I mean, very, very pretty. The Moto G6 went with the IPS LCD display. Let me show you guys really quick of a display test that I did on both of these devices. So you could be the judge for yourself. So check this out. All right, guys. So I have the Moto G6 right here. It's a gorgeous phone. And then I got the Moto Z3 Play. So let's go to look at the displays on both of these phones, right? Uh, I can tell you that uh, the AMOLED display on the Moto Z3 Play 
is a nice display, right? So let's go ahead and open up the display tester on both devices. Uh, and as you can see, looking at the whites on uh, both of these devices, that you do get the clear winner to the Moto Z3 Play. So let's go ahead and open up the display tester so we can see the colors on both devices. Now, when you first open up this display tester, it put it at 50% brightness, but we're gonna crank this up all the way to 100% brightness on both devices. All right, so we had 100% on both devices. And uh, let's go on and look at some colors here on both devices. Now, from my advantage point, the Moto Z3 Play look very bright and vivid when it come down to that red. That red looks very good. All right, so we're looking at the green again. The Moto Z3 Play looks absolutely amazing when it comes down to that green. I mean, it pops. Even when you look at the blues, the blues look very good. So looking at the whites here, you do see a difference. And again, I do like the Moto Z3 Play when it comes down to the whites. Looks very good. Now, when you get into the grays, you do see the difference in grays. All right. And uh, when you get into the other form of gray, you see that a little bit. Now, if you look at that, it's kind of bluish here on the Moto G6. And uh, we get into a dark gray here, and we get into a black. Cyan, and that is. So when looking at these colors on both of these displays, I would give the edge to the Moto Z3 Play with the Super Ambulant display compared to IPS displays. But again, $499, $199. As you can see, you be the judge for yourself when it comes down to both of these displays, right? But I would give the edge a little bit to the Z liner because of the AMOLED panel. Listen, I'm not taking nothing away from the G6. The IPS display is very good, but the Moto Z has a very gorgeous display. But again, you be the judge for yourself when looking at both of these displays. So let's talk about the performance on both of these devices. One of the things that a lot of people say is that since phones have low-end processors, you can't play all the hottest games. You can't play the latest games. You can't put the phone through its paces. A lot of people make these comments, and on this YouTube channel, I have debunked that over and over and over. I'm gonna show you guys real quick on some games. Also, I'm gonna show you some benchmark tests between both of these devices. And I'm going to check the heat on both of these devices. So check this out. All right, so let's talk about the performance on both of these devices, the G6 and the Z3, right? We got the 450 processor here. You got the 636 processor here. Both of them got four gigs of RAM. Uh, both of them got 3,000 milliamp batteries. Now, I want to show you guys something. Uh, both phones is at 97% battery life. Now, this is going to be important here because this is going to coincide with battery life, right? So both devices is 97% battery life. I've already ran Geekbench on both of these devices. So I want to show you guys the scores, all right? And uh, just go to look at the history here. And so when you're looking at the history, yes, the, the Moto G6 won't blow you away with uh, scores, right? Uh, we're looking at uh, almost double scores on uh, the Z3. And again, looking at the date here, today is the 30th uh, as of recording this video. And uh, but that won't blow you away. So uh, when it, uh, I'm about to start the game here, right? And uh, let y'all guys see this. We're gonna start the race. Boom, and, and as you can see, the both phones is running pretty fast. And this is the type of uh, performance I've been getting out of both phones, right? And I can tell you, and, and I really want to focus on the G6 because it has a lower processor. So uh, when you're looking at uh, both of these devices, I mean, can it really play high intensive games? Let's go on the C, right? And I really want to play it here and turn the volume up a little bit. The speakers are okay. Right, I always like to do my controls a little different here. So let me go ahead and go to options, just go to controls. And as you can see, phone run pretty good here, no problem. All right, look at that. All right, we're talking about a 450 processor here, guys, with four gigs of RAM. You're not gonna see no hiccup and no stuttering here, right? The, I mean, look, I, I always hear this myth about you can't play games here on these devices. Motorola have done an outstanding job when it comes down to performance on these devices. And so, as you can see, I'm playing Asphalt 8 with no problem on a G6, right? So, let me pause that and let me go on and get this phone and it, it just started already. Look at that, let's go on and get my controls here. 
And uh, so look at that. Boom. All right. And let's go on and raise that volume up a little bit. And as you can see, everything looks good. Uh, the screen looks absolutely amazing on the Z3. And uh, so you're not gonna have no problem with Asphalt 8 on either of these devices, right? And one thing that I do wanna point out here as we get into this, I wanna go ahead and open up some temperature uh, tests here so y'all guys can see the temperatures on both of these devices. All right, so on uh, Fahrenheit, uh, that played a little bit of Asphalt 8, and we had 93 degrees Fahrenheit, and we had 86 uh, degrees Fahrenheit on the, the Moto Z3. So look, uh, the device does feel, feel a little warm, so you got to remember that when playing uh, high intensive games on here. So, all right, guys, so I got PUBG fired up here, and this is the Z3 Play, and uh, look at that, right? I mean, no problems here. No problems. And one of the things I'll be looking at when I'll be playing these high intensive games is that look at that, all the graphics, the heavy graphics, and is the device go stutter? And so far, so good. No problems here. As you can see, flying without no problems, and that's a good thing. And uh, look at that. So that one flying, and this one is coming down right here. So look at that, no way, right? And uh, again, I want to look around, and as you can see, no problems. All right, so I'm not seeing any, any hiccups, no stuttering. So the, the biggest question is, can you play PUBG on these devices, right? It's no way that you can play high intensive games on these phones, no way. So uh, as you can see, okay, so I'm getting beat up on that one. And uh, as I'm looking here, no problems, all right? No stuttering. Let's go on and see if I can move around pretty quick. There it is. So this is PUBG on the Moto G6. So the myth of you can't play high intensive games on low end phones. Motorola has optimized these devices to run pretty good. So I don't hear no problem with playing PUBG or any high intensive games on the Moto G6 and the Moto Z3 Play. There it is. One more time before we get out of here is that we want to look at the temperature on uh, both of these devices before we go. And let's see where we at. Oof. All right, so we had 98 degrees Fahrenheit and we had 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at that. All right, so yeah, she's getting a little warm. I didn't see it go over uh, 98 degrees Fahrenheit, but we had uh, 93 degrees Fahrenheit on this device. So when playing high intensive games, look like you're gonna get a little more heat on the Moto G6 versus the Moto Z3 Play. So look at that. All right, so that is the performance between both of these devices. As you can see, the $199 G6 can play games. So let me give you my conclusion. The Moto G6 is $199, one of Amazon hottest selling devices. Motorola have done something special with this phone. Not only does it look good, it feels good, it plays good, and it runs good. But the Moto Z3 Play also is a fantastic phone. Even though it's $499, you got to remember, included in the package, it comes with a mind and it also support legacy mods. That is a good thing. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Moto Z3 plate and the Moto G6. See you guys on the next video. Peace.